Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create and edit movies on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Now, in this example, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S20, but you can have any other smartphone. You can have an S9, S10, Note 9, Note 10, whatever you have. So basically, I'm going to dive in. I'm going to give you full details on how to create an actual movie with all the built-in tools of your uh, Galaxy smartphone as you can see so let's dive in and get started before I dive in this is the editor that's the movie editor and I do want to let you know you can use it either in portrait orientation or if you prefer you can use it in landscape orientation just like this it's nice smooth and easy to use let's dive in and start from the very beginning so basically once you're done watching this tutorial video you'll be able to create your own little movie just like this on your Samsung Galaxy Note device let me play the video I have a background music in the video, I have titles on the actual uh, video, and you'll notice I even have transition effects that, that get applied from one clip to another just like that, all right? So let's dive in and show you how to get all this stuff done on your Galaxy smartphone. So everything starts in your gallery, so let's go to my gallery real quick. And I'll let you know I have a bunch of albums here. Now I do have one album here that has a bunch of car clips. So I basically recorded a bunch of clips from my car. And again, you can do this with anything. You can do this with your pets, with your children. You record a bunch of movies and then we stitch them together to create a movie. So I have a bunch of car clips in this album. And as you can see, here they are. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of these clips to create a brand new movie. So what you want to do, the very first thing you want to do is you want to start to select the clips that you want to use in your movie. So I want to, for example, use this clip here. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. And let's get one more over here. I'm going to use this one and one more right there. Okay. Once you're done selecting the clips that you want to use, you tap this movie creation button that's on the top. When you tap it, you're going to see two options. One of them is a highlight reel. The other one is a self-edited movie. In this video, when we want to look at the self-edited movie. Uh, if you do this, it's just going to create something for you automatically by mixing the clips that you have chosen. That's fun as well, but this is the one where you can do everything yourself and create your own masterpiece. So I'm going to tap on self-edited. It's going to start the load. What it's going to do is it's going to load the movie editor. Now, when I tap on this one, my multitasking window, you'll see we are in the create movie application. And all the clips I've chosen are going to be at the bottom in the order that I've chosen them. All right. So they're going to be right here at the bottom. Right now, I can play this movie. Okay. So I'm going to tap on this and the movie actually starts to play as you can see. Now, if you look at these clips, I'm going to pause it for a second. This clip right here, for example, is 10 seconds. This one is also 10 seconds. It tells you how many seconds each clip that I selected is. And you can also edit every single clip. But remember, you can always preview this with your finger just like this. Look at how smooth it is because we do have a powerful processor in this smartphone. It should also look similar on other smartphones like the Note 9, Note 10, S9, S10, no problem. Now, every movie should have a title. So what you can do is you can go over here, tap on this one, and you can create a title. Let's just say my uh, car, okay? And then just tap over here, interior, okay? So you're adding a title to your uh, movie, and then that's the title's gonna show up right here, and it shows you exactly where it's gonna appear, all right? So look at that. Uh, let me pause this for a second. I can switch the side of this. Uh, for example, I can have it, let me just tap, I can have it in the, in, the, in the left, I can have it in the center, or I can have it on the right side if I so desire. As you can see, it shows up right there on the right, but I'm gonna keep it in the center. It just looks nice, okay? So once I'm done with that, I can go back to my preview window. This is my preview window, okay? Look at that. That's the title I just put on my, uh, video it says my car interior now with this clip let's say I want to just show this clip for five seconds so what I do is I tap on it and then click on edit and then it's going to load up a window where I can edit that clip individually I can edit that clip now I'm going to take it down to uh, five seconds all right oh did it happen there we go five seconds and also I can add effects from here if I want to 
all these effects are applying to that individual clip. I can even add text and stuff like that if I so desire. All right, but let's just keep it to five seconds. I'm gonna click done. Now that clip, this is 10 seconds. That clip, as you can see, is now only five seconds. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna rotate the phone to landscape orientation so we can see things even more clearly. So let's edit the movie like this. Uh, as you can see, the clips are at the bottom now and the, uh, the preview window is right here. Uh, the text window is right here and the music window is right here. I'm gonna show you all these things in a second. Let me just zoom in on this actual thing. All right, so here we are. Now I'm gonna show you one really cool thing after this. So as you can see, as we move from one clip to another, there's a little yellow thing right here. That's actually a transition effect. If I tap on it, I can choose a transition. For example, I can choose dissolve. So when I swipe over, it just dissolves into the next clip, as you can see. By the way, anytime you can pause or play, this is called a timeline. You can pause and play with the timeline. And you can also move around. So you have the dissolve effect, as you can see. Let's look at that one more time. I just added that by myself, all right? There we go. Now, again, when you add a dissolve effect here, it also adds it to the other uh, transition areas right here between the clips. I can also tap it again and change it to something else. I can do fade, all right? Now with fade, it's a little bit different. Let's look at it, how that works. So now it's gonna fade from one clip to the other. There we go, okay? That's great. What I can also do again is when I tap on these, you can what you can do is you can edit the movie, you can make it shorter, apply effects like I showed you earlier, or you can split a clip. So if I tap on, like let's say this is a 10 second clip, I can tap on split, then I can take the, the, the little, uh, this is the razor blade right here. I can put it anywhere I want where I want to split that movie into two. So I can put it right there, tap on the arrow, and now that movie is split into two. It's the same thing, but I split it for whatever reason. But that's just an option you have. And let's say there's a clip you do not need anymore. You can tap on it and delete that clip. Now that clip is gone, but I still have this one right here, okay? So that's fantastic. When you tap on any clip, you can edit, split, or delete. When you tap on here, you can add or remove a transition. And when you tap on this over here, you can add a text overlay clips. So anytime I add a text overlay, it's gonna show up in the beginning for a couple seconds. Now the next thing that is very important is the actual music that plays in the background. All movies get better if you add an actual uh, music in the background. Now when I go to my music, let's say I select this clip right here, okay? This clip is right now selected. I'm gonna tap on music, and what I can do is I can kill the video sound. So that's the sound the microphone picked up when you're recording the video using your cell phone. But then what I can do is I can add background music. Now, I did take out the video sound, so when I go back out over here and I play this movie, I'm not gonna hear any background sound from the video that I recorded with my cell phone uh, on any one of these clips, okay? So when you kill the, kill the sound, even if you select one video and go to sound and kill the video sound, the video sound of the background sound disappears. And what I can do is I can add actual background music from my playlist or we have some presets. I can tap on add, all right? And from here, I have all these options that are copyright free and you can use them in your videos. You can also click on plus. That's gonna go into your music folder to download your local music. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna go back. Let's say I wanna use uh, this one right here. I can tap on them, it's gonna download them, it's gonna preview them for you. Look, that's a preview right there. So I'm gonna tap on this one, that's the one I want. And once I selected it, I can go back. It's gonna take me to my actual video clip. Now from here, I can change the sound of the background music, all right? I can change the sound of the actual background. Do I want low volume? or high, I'm gonna keep it a high. Now let's go back to preview window. Now we have our movie all ready to go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on play, look at the movie. That's my title, the music is in the background. We have our transition effects going on right over here. Take a look at that, transition, all right? Transition, 
Okay, when you're satisfied with your movie, all you do is press save and it's going to export and save the movie into your gallery. Now remember, every single time you can tap on each individual clip and edit it, okay? Once you edit that, you can go in there and you can do all these things from the side. I can add uh, stickers. I can pick from any sticker from here and I can add it to that individual movie clip. So let me just grab this so I can just put it right here, just an ex as an example, all right? Click play, that sticker is gonna remain there. I can click on done. Now it's gonna reflect on that individual video. And then I have the background music. Absolutely fantastic. Don't hesitate to go in and edit clips as you desire. Now one more thing I can do, that's the final thing I'm gonna show you guys, is if there's a clip I wanna move over, I can just press and hold and just move it over to where I wanna put it. So now it's moved over to this side and these two have shifted to the right side. And when I'm ready, when I'm satisfied with my movie, I click on save and look, it's saving the video, exporting the video, so that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. And see how quick it is. This video in the background is a 1080p video at 60 frames per second, and that was done pretty quick. Now once you save the video, all you're gonna do is go into your video editor folder. Let me go back in my gallery real quick, uh, right over here. And if I scroll down, let me see, where's my video editor folder? Right there, video editor folder. And that's the movie, that's a 49 second movie that I just made on my Samsung Galaxy smartphone, which is fantastic. You have to use these kind of functionalities to maximize your ownership of these smartphones. Let's play that video. Look at that. My car interior, okay? I added all that stuff. And then as I play the movie, look at the transition effect that I added myself and the music in the background. Fantastic, all right? So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know, guys. Drop them down below. And for now, have a fantastic day. I hope you learn something brand new.